That's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. You have to get to them. Just getting to them is hard. Yeah, I know. And then you got to kill them. What the hell's going on here? Why does Captain Falcon have to beat him and kill him? <laughs> Just to prove a point. Well, the skulls represent dead people. But, uh, I don't know... So there's 29 people on the race. Does killing the smaller guys affect the speed of the rival? I, I think know. I've heard... I've heard speedrunners talk about that. I think that's true. So if I kill more people, then he slows down, um, and I can get to him, and maybe he's less aggressive. Now and I mean, if you, when you say kill, you mean kill, because at this speed, everyone's gonna die. Yeah, everyone's gonna die. So you're just murdering everyone. Well, you're gonna die at the end of a race at this speed, anyway. <laughs> you're gonna die when you stop. Now everyone's healed. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm Sanic, and I'm on this track, and I'm trying to kill all these other Sanics. I think you have another attack, don't you? Like Y or something. Oh, There's another X. little tiny attack you can do. That thing. X is boost. Or Y is boost. Try X. Yeah, that Whoa. thing. Oh, okay. I don't know how good it is, but... It's kind of hard to press. Oh, okay, I get it's it. It's probably not that good. Uh, uh, it's just something I learned, but... Really, I'm just trying to survive the track when I play alone. Mm. Mm. There's no way I'm doing this. BAM! Whoa, what was that? I don't know. I think there was only one guy left. Or something. I, I can't pay attention to any of this crap. <laughs> I know, it's a lot to digest. There should just be a list of all the people who died. That make things a little easier. See, I wouldn't know... See, if I was just playing this game on my own and I didn't read anything up. I uh, I would wouldn't think that this was a move at all. I know. <laughs> it's so that's simple. what I, that's what I'm saying about this game. You have to learn everything. You just you have to assume something's happening that you can't understand, and you have to find out yourself on the internet. Like that's how I could do anything in this. Oh my god. Uh, Jeez, how is Captain Falcon alive in there? Ooh. How, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how does he handle this? Oh my god. <laughs> It's all the it's from fighting in Smash Brothers. <laughs> like he's received just enough damage, and then someone just nicks him, and the car just turns into a black piece of charcoal. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and he's stuck inside it. He's like coughing up black shit. <laughs> it's all coked up. It's a living. Yep, it's a living. <clears throat> Yet he's apparently also a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? He's a racing bounty hunter. He just kills people with his car. In the anime, he's like a fighter, too. <laughs> like, he... He has that falcon punch in the anime. <laughs> Jeez. He's like a ranger. He just does everything. I know. It's perfect. He's like a... Superhuman. Um... In the anime, too, uh... It reveals that, uh... Captain Falcon isn't really the Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon is a title you get when you beat the old Captain Falcon. Oh, yeah? So Captain Falcon's really probably like... The Captain Falcon coming out in the new Smash Bros. is probably like the 10th Captain Falcon. Oh, yeah? I don't know. He never takes off his helmet, right? Uh -huh. So they all look the same, but you don't really know. But they get replaced. And in, in the anime, uh, someone replaces Captain Falcon as Captain Falcon. <laughs> and I guess you get his Falcon Punch or something. Somehow you keep doing the same things he does. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the falcon punch is in the suit. <laughs> it's in the glove. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in uh, F-Zero maximum velocity on the GBA. Uh, 
there's someone in that, like, Captain Falcon isn't in that game, but, uh, there's someone who says he's the new Captain Falcon, because he's Captain Falcon's son, uh, or yeah. something, and it reveals that Captain Falcon, the traditional Captain Falcon's last name is Akechi. Okay. I, don't, I forget what his first name is. But this might not be that same Captain Falcon. I don't know when oh, this is. I want to catch you this guy. I don't know. I've never really read the F-Zero canon comics or anything like that. Because it was a big comic thing too. Yeah. And anime. This bugs me. There's, mm. there's a healing spot right here, and everyone is just... No matter how much progress it made on uh, how many people, if you haven't killed them, they're just healed. When they developed this game, they tried to think, how could they make it as annoying as possible? Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things they put it in. I guarantee it wasn't yeah. there originally. Yeah. They just yeah. said, let's just... Let's see how bad it is when we put that there. Oh, this is bad. You gotta time it, I guess. So your rival is uh, right ahead of you when you reach that spot, so you can get to killing them right off of that. Like, I would find this a lot easier if I had the Death Anchor car. Like, Death Anchor is my favorite. Uh -huh. Like, uh, when you beat uh, one of the cups, too, you get to. Uh, a little video montage of the character that you raced as, and uh, the news anchor guy interviewing him, <laughs> and um, they all have interesting things to say. Oh Jesus! Um, yeah, there's some really weird characters in this. There's like a skeleton who's like 300 years old, and there's like a yeah, there's like a, a guy who's like a lizard and. Beast man dude or something, a really old guy. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some Mortal Kombat characters inside. All with the uh, all the same face. Yeah. There's a guy there with a tattoo on one side of his face. Uh-huh. I love that. <laughs> guy from Terminator. Which may or may not have been uploaded because it's a fucking shitty video. <laughs> hey, everything gets uploaded here. Equal opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Everything gets uploaded. <laughs> we support equality here at Jimmy Switch. So we upload the, even the shittiest videos. More channels should upload everything they record. Like this channel, everything. Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter how bad it is. Well, that's, that's what the... Uh, popular white players do. I mean, no one cares. They're they're popular because they're popular. It has nothing to do with quality. Of which this video has none. But, uh... <laughs> well, I don't know. It's there. It's something. Apparently 84 people we, think that. Well, we There's only 84 did... subs now. Oh, cool. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> we just, uh... We decided to go back to F-Zero because we ran out of ideas. And we had fun with this, and people seem to comment on it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's good because uh, you can sit back and talk about things while the action's going on. Really, isn't that the only way to play it? Because if you were actually playing this alone, you would have gotten mad and killed yourself. Yeah. By I now. I would have. I know. Let me spin it. Ooh. I'm Falcon. Mm. I'm a damn idiot. Where are you? One of these times you're gonna get within an inch of actually winning and beating him at the same time, but a car is gonna come up behind you and crush you into the ground, and then you're just gonna flicker around and then shoot into space. Yeah, exactly. We already did it once, this video.
In fact, when it happened, I couldn't believe how many of those buildings were actually rendered. <laughs> Sometimes it's surprising uh, uh, where, uh, what parts of the uh, level geometry have uh, collision. Mm -hmm. You can tell you can tell how polished a game is by uh, how much collision it has outside of the game field. Sonic. Sonic. Sonic has almost none. Sonic. So Sonic has you falling through the ground on on, <laughs> on spots that where you're supposed to fall off, like floating platforms. Yeah. You can fall through a fucking mountain. I know. And it doesn't do anything about I know. it. It's, it's like a. The Sonic Adventure developers just thought, like, as long as they stay on this track, everything's fine. Yeah. But it's not fine. Because it's a platformer and kids are going to want to explore. Yeah. And they fall right off the level and fall through, like, 40 meters of rock and people in a town and then keep going <laughs> through an ocean with no splash. And it's just horrible. It's just yeah, it, gut wrenching. It weirds me out every time I fall into an ocean. And uh, Sonic's just like, whoa! And there's no other sounds. <laughs> I know, it feels like it's really deep and far away. Yeah. Remember uh, remember falling into the water in Crazy Taxi? Yes. How creepy that was. Oh. The taxi just goes down into the water and you can see it get darker and it's yeah. gone. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> that scares the shit out of me. That sound you made was hilarious. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's horrible. You immediately feel sore for them. I know. It's like, it's like you're uh, riding around on these uh, stone platforms in the middle of the ocean in a taxi with no guardrails. They just slide right off and go down into the ocean and just die with the fish down at the bottom in your taxi. And you can't get out. Somehow it's just a lot more scary than just jumping off. Yeah. Going over in a taxi <laughs> into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't have a roof, does it? Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think it has a roof, so it's like you're just. But he stays. You're in You're strapped it. to this thing. He just goes down with it. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> What city is this, and why is why is there a uh, dedicated highway for uh, for battle racing? I don't know. I don't know where Mute City is, but most of this stuff is Mute City. Uh -huh. I don't know where that is or what. I think it's on Earth. I am boosting as fast as I can go. <laughs> I just can't get faster. Uh, I'm going as fast as I you can. You have to like. Fast. You have to bank into the turns into them or something. That's the only way you're gonna get ahead. Yeah. And I know I don't know how you're supposed to do that when you can barely see the turn coming. Yeah. Apart from actually memorizing the track itself. And there's like one turn after. Uh... Oh, jeez. There's one turn after that uh, healing section, and I spend so much health boosting up to the rival that I just can't do it. I've killed so many people already, but there's still 13 left. <laughs> Man, it's tough. <laughs> I know, bud. I know. Racing games are hard to make hard, too. It's, it's challenging to uh, make something challenging. Make it this hard. Yeah. Oh, God. No, make it hard and still be fair. Up until a few years ago, this was considered fair. <laughs> until uh, oh, no. tool-assisted uh, players discovered that sometimes the uh, AI racers cheat. Mm -hmm. So now I'm not sure. Well, this guy, I, I know for a fact this guy is some sort of a reverse bubble band, bubble band <laughs> physics. <laughs> reverse bubble bass physics. <laughs> Forgot the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> 
that episode is, is kind of a look into uh, the psyche of a person who plays this game too much. <laughs> I kind of forgot anything how to do because F-Zero. Too much fast. Can't go faster. Losing grip on reality. Do how you do. Do how you do. <laughs> Just, just empty your mind <laughs> of anything that isn't going fast in F Zero and breathing. No, ditch that too. Um, I'm just gonna uh, take toast and nail it to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Other things like that. Mm -hmm. Didn't, then they, didn't they look under Bubble Bass's tongue and find a whole bunch of other lost things? <laughs> yeah. Boo boo keys. Funny muffler. No, that wasn't no, that. No, that wasn't that. That wasn't that, but there was other things. There was money. Yeah. I wish it was that other thing, though. I wish Funny Muffler was under there. Yeah. And Boo Boo Key, mm -hmm. but they weren't. I wish Goodworth's clarinet was under there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Squilliam was under there, but he wasn't. William fancy him. Okay. Best cartoon on TV right now, I think, uh, since season two is uh, Gravity Falls. I've never watched it yet. Well, you should. Like, the, in season two, the, the production values are through the roof. Mm. Like, really good. Movie quality, almost. But, uh... Yeah, they're just, uh, riding off the success of season one. But it... it it's doing that things that, that uh, cartoons have been doing recently, where it has a, an overarching plot mm. that's kind of dark. And yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It has a bit of continuity, but not too much. That's what, like, destroyed Adventure Time for me. Oh, yeah, it absolutely, like, wrecked uh, Adventure Time. I quit that, like... I quit that at the end of Season 3. Mm -hmm. Like, uh... That's what makes me worry. Like, sometimes you can go too far and, and do what Adventure Time did, where Finn has, like, 50 girlfriends, and, uh, and he's like... And it's... A post-apocalyptic world where every character has their own past and I know, it I, fleshes it out every episode and it's like, ugh. man, I just really, let me have fun again. I knew something was going wrong when they had the flame princess and they kept trying to make it look like that was Finn's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is stupid. That's I mean, not supposed to be like that. She didn't, she didn't strike me as a returning character. No. I mean, I, I can see adding someone to replace, uh, Princess Bubblegum, because uh, no, she's out of the question at this point. But uh, I don't know why. She yeah. Doesn't have to be. It's still good. I know. <laughs> it's a cartoon. That's you just what they to. decide to do. But um, Finn should have fell in love with Lumpy Space Princess. I I think he did. <laughs> I what? think he did at some point. I don't what? know. What? Uh, well, I don't know. All kinds of stuff is happening, but. When you hear people talking about Adventure Time and you haven't been watching it, it, it seems like all this weird shit has been happening. Like that, Marge becomes a robot sort of stuff. Yeah. And uh, maybe a crazy wet wedding and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just drama they, for the uh, sake of it. All I know from The Simpsons now comes from CO, where uh, someone posts a GIF from a new episode and they're like, really? Come that's how I now. learn about see. That's how I learn about The Simpsons now. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not gonna watch it, so that's how I learn about it. Even though, uh, on like, I don't know if it's all Saturdays around here, but like a lot of Saturdays, mm -hmm. there's one channel that just airs nothing but Simpsons. Yeah. I think it's Global. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember, but it it, it was like uh, I think on CBC they had it like three times a day. Yeah. Something like that, but um. Those shows, uh, The Simpsons and Family Guy, they keep killing people off and then not. 
Yeah, I know. Like, I, they, like, people die all the time, and then they're like, they advertise this big major death, and it doesn't turn out to be real. And they just do that endlessly yeah, until I've been, people uh, give up. I've been watching, like, I think that started with uh, who shot uh, Mr. Burns. Yeah, something but, like uh, that. Anyway, I've been watching, actually, uh, The Simpsons from the first episode on for a while now. Like myself, and kind of, like, for the first time in my life, watching it really hard. Mm -hmm. Like, trying to pay attention to what's going on. And, uh, I can't get over how good, like, the first, uh, seven seasons are. The first seven seasons of The Simpsons is just, like, perfect joke after perfect joke mm -hmm. for the for half an hour. And it leaves you, like, so happy at the end. It's so comfortable. You can watch those episodes again and I know, again and so again. It's so good. The first, like, I and I can actually, you can see immediately when it happens, when they hit season eight. <laughs> something starts messing up. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, season eight, they started to get production value. Yeah. And then the episodes started to get weird. And then the ratio of good to bad started to go way in the favor of bad. Right around season 12. And then everything after that was pure, pure bad. Yeah. It was hilarious. It's, you can, you can see the exact moment where his heart breaks in two, so to speak. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah. yeah, people, de people debate that, that exact moment. Yeah. Um, but it's usually, I'm not sure what exactly I would say it was. Usually but, season eight or nine. Yeah. Uh, but some people can pinpoint the exact episode where there's a <laughs> giant drop in quality. Yeah. I don't agree with that, because, like, well into, uh... Well into, like, season 20. I don't know how many seasons there are, but, uh... I don't know, I can't pay attention to it. Recently, there there have been, like, uh... Okay, not recently. Uh, within the past... Eight years, there have been, uh, some good episodes here and there, but... Family Guy is gone. Family Guy is, is a dead show. I don't know, I never liked it, that from the first episode, really. Yeah, it... it it's been, it's always been a little too edgy, uh, but the the jokes are, the well the jokes are so numerous that they uh, like for every every uh, four hundred misses there are like uh, one hundred hits you know. Well, it's like a, uh, I think uh, one of the problems with that is that uh, the jokes, uh, the comedic timing, the beat per beat. Like, the, the rate of jokes as they come in is too fast. Yeah. It feels like there's too many jokes in an episode. See, that... And there's no downtime to learn about the characters. Mm -hmm. And then, you actually did it. Whoa. How'd you do that? I must have killed him on, like, the last frame. Oh, uh, okay, man. I, I remember hitting him and then passing the finish line. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. That was, that was so close. That was pure luck.